All right, begin by selecting the top surface and creating a sketch. Now in the top view, if your reference isn't turned on, just toggle it on. Now we can start using the two point rectangle. And I'm gonna introduce to you guys how to mirror the sketch. So start at the top left corner and we're gonna end at the bottom center line. And our goal is to get this rectangle on the opposite side as well. So let's go to create and select mirror. Now we're gonna only select the top line, the side line, and the bottom line. And for the mirror line will be the middle line, if that makes any sense. And once we're satisfied, we're just gonna hit okay. Now let's use the trim icon above to trim off the center line. Now select the new profile sketch and we're gonna press pull it by negative 0.386. And keep in mind guys that I'm using millimeters. So you may get a different result if you're not using millimeters as well. And ensure the operation is set to cut. Now select the new surface and we're gonna create another sketch, which should bring you back to the top view. Now let's use our favorite two point rectangle once again. And just try to match this reference. And end at the center once again. And let's mirror. So in this case, we only have to select this one line and the mirror line to make it appear on the opposite end. Now select both the faces. And we're gonna extrude by negative 0.286. And also ensure the operation is set to cut. All right guys, let's rinse and repeat. So let's select this surface and create another sketch. Let's use our two point rectangle. And this is gonna be your second H to you guys pretty soon. <laughs> so from this corner to the bottom right corner on the opposite side, and we're gonna do the same for the bottom big square or the big rectangle area. So start from here all the way down to the bottom right corner. And we're gonna select them both by holding shift and selecting them. I'm going to press pull them by 0 0.142. And also make sure the operation is set to join, not cut. Really quick, if you guys are liking the video so far, please give the video a thumbs up, leave a comment, and subscribe. I'm sure you guys know what's going to happen next. So let's create another sketch on that surface. And let's grab what? our two point rectangle and just follow the reference. We could easily go to the right, but let's just go to the center line so we can mirror it. And we only do mirroring just to ensure that it's symmetric on both sides. So select that line and the mirror line and hit okay. Now let's press pull these. Let's press pull it by 0 0.109 and ensure the operation is set to join. So now in the left view, let's create a sketch on the 2D plane, not the body, by selecting the grid. Now we can start using the two point rectangle to further match the reference. Let's begin by starting in the bottom left corner of the reference and we're going to bring it up all the way to the right, exceeding past the reference. I'm pretty sure you guys are wondering why am I bringing it so far beyond the area I can't see, but that will make sense shortly. Now, just the top line to match the peak of the reference image. This back line will extend beyond the reference image, and it doesn't matter how far out, just extend past it. Now select the profile and press pull it. Before making any adjustments, let's just change the canvas view to the back view, and let's press pull it by 6.30 also, ensure the operation is set to new body. Let's make the direction symmetric and hit OK. Now let's go back to the left view and let's select the surface and create a sketch. Now use the high key L to select the line tool. And we're gonna start from the bottom left corner and we're just gonna go straight up until the line intersects with the reference. And we're gonna go from this point where the two bodies intersect at the top. 
Just keep in mind that these lines we just created will act only as a point of reference for other lines. Now go to Create, Arc, Three Point Arc. Let's start from this point and end here to create a bend and click once more to complete it. Now we're going to use the spline icon above to start from this point. We're going to make another click. We're just going to extend and once we match the reference hit OK. Now let's use the trim icon and let's clip off those two previous lines we created. Now finish sketch. Now go to modify split body. For the body to split, choose the newly created body. And for the splitting tool, let's use this sketch line that we created. Now we can toggle on and off that access area that we're going to remove by right clicking and going to remove. Ensure you don't press delete, just always hit remove. Now in the right view, select this surface and create sketch. Go to modify, offset. Let's offset this line by negative 0.394 and select OK. Now select the interface and press pull by negative 0.166 and ensure to set the operation to new body, not cut, so we can mirror this. Once ready, hit OK. Now hit the Create drop down menu and select Mirror. Now choose the body we're going to mirror and let's choose the mirror line. And to select through the body, hold down the left mouse button to choose the plane and hit OK. Now let's perform a Boolean operation by selecting the combine and we're going to bind the main body, this one right here, by the two mirrored bodies and ensure the operation is set to cut and hit OK. Now we can combine these two bodies together. So we're going to select the combine icon above and we're going to select both of these bodies and set the operation to join, not cut. Now let's go back to the back view. And we're going to create a sketch on the 2D plane. Ensure you guys do not click on the surface of the bodies, it's just the 2D plane. Now we're going to use the two point rectangle to match the reference. And we're going to start from the top corner to the center. Now we can mirror this sketch. So go to create mirror, select the top line, the side line and the bottom. And for the mirror line will be the center line. Now we can hold shift and hold the left mouse button to select both of these profiles we created. And we can right click, press pull. And we're going to press pull at about negative 9.438. I'm going to set the operation from cut to new body. We can now right click on that body layer and go to move and copy. And we're going to move it back about negative 5.641. And this is in millimeters, guys. And once you're ready, hit OK. Now let's do a Boolean operation. So we're going to hit combine. And we're going to combine the first body with the second body and ensure the operation is on cut. And we're left with this. Now back in the back view, we can turn on our reference, we can select the surface and go to create sketch. And we're going to use the two point rectangle to follow the reference. Now we can select the profile and press pull it. Let's press pull it about 1.594 millimeters and set the operation to join. Now select the surface and let's create another sketch. But this time we're just going to use the offset. So we're going to offset this outer line and let's offset it by negative 0.374 and hit OK. Now select the inner surface and press pull it. And we're going to cut this out and let's make it negative uh, 0.385 and set it to cut. Now let's repeat. So we're going to select the surface and create another sketch. Use our favorite tool, the two point rectangle. And let's start copying some of the reference. So we're going to start with this elongated rectangle. Now let's duplicate this along the X axis by hitting the create drop down and going to rectangular pattern. 
we're going to double click to select the entire sketch and we're going to pull it down to the last rectangle let's change the quantity to four and hit ok now let's shift select all four rectangles and let's press pull them by 0 0.303 and set the operation to join now back in the back view we're going to select this surface and hit create sketch now we're going to press pull by negative 0 0.392 and set the operation to new body. Now we can mirror that new body to the opposite side. So hit create, mirror. We're gonna select that body that we wanna mirror. And for the mirror line, we're gonna choose the side plane and hit okay. Now we can do a combined operation in Boolean these two shapes. All right, now let's select this inner surface here and create sketch. And we're gonna rotate around to better visualize this. And let's use the line tool to connect this corner to the top corner. Let's right click and let's press pull this profile by rotating and selecting the opposite end and hit okay. Now select the newly created surface and create sketch. Now click the back icon to better match the reference. And we're gonna use the line tool just to go straight up to create a rectangle. Now select the rectangle and let's press pull this profile. And let's press pull at about 0 0.087 and set the operation to new body and hit okay. Now we're just gonna select the body that we just created. And I'm gonna control C, control V to copy that and let's just slide the duplicate to match the second reference of the rectangle. Now we're gonna select both of the bodies we created and we're gonna just mirror those to the opposite side to match the reference. Now let's go to the create drop down and select pipe. And we're gonna create a pipe using this top line right here. And let's set it to 0 0.566 and set it to new body. We can now right click on the body layer and go to move. And let's select the up arrow and move it by negative 0.102. And before pressing OK, let's just rotate to the side view and let's select the side arrow. And we're going to adjust that by 0 0.267 and then hit OK. Now let's rotate back around to the back view and this reference is a bit in the way, so we're just going to disable it. And let's go to Modify, Split Body. And let's grab that pipe. And for the splitting tool, we're just going to zoom in and select the, the sides of this rectangle, the side of this rectangle, and lastly, the side of this rectangle. Now that gave us three parts for the pipe alone. And let's just press pull on these small pipes and let's pull them by 0 0.109 and hit OK. And we're going to do the same for this pipe over here. So 0 0.109 and press OK. Now we're going to start mirroring these two pipes to the opposite end. So we're going to select them. We're going to use the mirror and let's rotate to the side and we're going to select that plane. Don't forget to left click and hold to select it. Now we're going to combine all the pieces except for body number five together. And body number five is the front panel. All right, guys, so if you made it this far without me confusing you guys, here's uh, how it looks so far with the progress we made. And here's that body that should be separate. So if you guys liked it, uh, please leave a comment. Tell me what you thought about the video so far. Uh, leave a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please guys subscribe and share. See you guys next week.